Hello and welcome to another amazing video about one of the most fascinating and mysterious creatures that ever existed on our planet, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs ruled the earth for over 170 million years, and then suddenly, they went extinct. Today, we'll explore what happened to them and take a closer look at the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. But before that, subscribe the macula if you want to see clearly what's happening or what happened in the world and in your surroundings. Before we dive into the details, let's talk about how we know so much about dinosaurs. Fossils have been key to our understanding of these extinct creatures. The first dinosaur fossil was discovered in 1841, and since then, more than 10,000 fossils have been found, including 900 different species. Every year, about 45 new fossils are discovered, helping us to better understand the history of these prehistoric animals. Now let's take a step back in time, about 230 to 240 million years ago, to the beginning of the first dinosaurs. The Triassic period was the first period in which dinosaurs appeared, and they were very small at that time. For example, the first dinosaur was the Eraptor, which was the ancestor of all dinosaurs. The Triassic period ended about 201 million years ago, and climate changes started to occur. The supercontinent named Pangaea started to break, and volcanic eruptions began. The resulting gases such as CO2 and sulfur dioxide started to affect the environment, blocking out sunlight and cooling the earth. The volcanic eruption continued for 600,000 years, and almost all species went extinct, except for dinosaurs, crocodiles, turtles, and a few others. After the Triassic period, the Jurassic period began, and this is the period that most people are familiar with due to movies like Jurassic Park. The Jurassic period lasted from 201 million years ago to 145 million years ago, during which time many different species of dinosaurs existed. Some dinosaurs, like the Titanosaur, were very large, weighing up to 1,500 kilograms and measuring almost 15 meters long. The Jurassic period is also known for the existence of flying dinosaurs like the pterodactyl, which lived during that time. It was a fascinating time when many different species of dinosaurs roamed the Earth. After the Jurassic period came the Cretaceous period, during which time the continents began to break apart and resemble the Earth's current appearance. The most famous dinosaur of the Cretaceous period was the T-Rex, which lived about 68 million years ago. This was also the time when grass began to grow on Earth. But then came the fateful day when an asteroid struck the Earth, traveling at a speed of 40,000 miles per hour. It was six miles wide and released energy equivalent to 10 billion atomic bombs. The impact resulted in an enormous disaster. The asteroid hit a location near the Yucatan Peninsula, and the shockwaves caused by the impact resulted in heat pulses, wildfires, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and acid rains. The impact resulted in a nuclear winter, with temperatures dropping significantly, and sunlight was blocked for thousands of years. This caused all the species that relied on plants to die out in a chain reaction, and only omnivores survived. Carbon and sulfur were released into the atmosphere, and water became acidic. It was a catastrophe that caused all four-legged animals and almost all species of plants and dinosaurs to go extinct. The end of the Cretaceous period marked the end of the dinosaurs' reign on Earth. However, 
The extinction of the dinosaurs paved the way for the evolution and diversification of mammals, including humans. We owe our existence to the extinction of the dinosaurs and the emergence of new ecological niches that allowed our ancestors to thrive. The extinction of the dinosaurs was a catastrophic event that changed the course of Earth's history. Although many factors contributed to their demise, the asteroid impact was the final nail in the coffin. The extinction of the dinosaurs allowed for the evolution and diversification of new life forms, including mammals, and ultimately led to the emergence of humans. We should remember the dinosaurs as a symbol of the power and fragility of life on Earth and strive to preserve and protect the natural world that we share with other living beings. However, life goes on, and this was the beginning of the Paleogene period, which followed the extinction of the dinosaurs. It was a time when mammals began to thrive and evolve. The Paleogene period lasted from about 66 million years ago to 23 million years ago, and it was the beginning of a new era on Earth. Paleogene period is more interesting than the all previous periods. It is the time when when mammals began to thrive and evolve. The way for the evolution and diversification of mammals, including humans, starts here. But we will discuss that in the second part of this video. So, subscribe the macula for the second part and watch more interesting videos like this. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this journey through the age of the dinosaurs. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button see you in part 2.